So one of the most exciting things that's going on right now in laparoscopy and surgery overall is the decrease in the number of holes that we're making in people's skin in order to get the operation done. So we've progressively decreased the number of holes. Now we're trying to go through one single hole to be able to do large operations on the inside of you. So the spider technique is uh, actually a device that we introduce. Think of it like an umbrella. And so we create one incision close to your umbilicus and we introduce this umbrella into your abdomen. That umbrella is then opened up and these mechanical arms are deployed inside your abdomen. With arms on the outside of this device that I'm holding, I can then run those mechanical arms and do major surgery inside. At the end of the operation, when everything is done and I'm satisfied, I close the arms, just like you would close an umbrella, and remove it from the abdomen, leaving only one hole as the, uh, the opening that we did this major operation through. So that's what the spider technique is, or, or in general. Now, how does that apply to sleeve gastrectomy? The sleeve gastrectomy, of course, we've mentioned is that we're removing about 80% of the stomach. So once we introduce the spider, we're able to manipulate the stomach, mobilize it, get it loose and ready to resect, and then we're going to divide the stomach mechanically and then remove that portion of the stomach through the small opening that we introduce the spider device through. So that is the spider sleeve gastrectomy technique.